and welcome to this short tutorial which will demonstrate a useful transient processing technique using the envelope followers in the modulation section. This technique will work with the Volcano filter plug or the timeless delay plug, but I personally use it most often in the multiband distortion and saturation plugin Saturn. This instance of Saturn is processing a drums and percussion loop I lifted from a recent session with Renegade Brass Band. And if I crank the drive knob, we hear the saturation start to bite a bit harder and the drums gain a bit more attitude. If I open up the modulation section, click the plus symbol and add an envelope follower, I can create a more dynamic version of the saturation effect by linking the drive amount to incoming audio levels. Of course, we could also simply modulate the gain control. Let's turn it down to compensate. And we now have an upward expansion effect, which boosts loud signals while leaving quiet signals relatively unaffected. With a fast attack time for the envelope follower, this can add a useful extra punch. I'm now going to add another envelope follower. Turn the attack time all the way down to match the first. And link it to the same gain control. But this time I'm going to invert the modulation. If I turn the gain back up, we can hear that the two modulation slots now cancel each other out. I can verify this by A being with my saved settings above. No difference at all. You may wonder what the point of that is. Well, things get more interesting if I then slow down the attack time on the second envelope follower. Now they still almost cancel out, but whenever the volume changes suddenly, the first envelope follower reacts faster than the second, and we get a short volume boost for each transient. If the second envelope follower is only slightly slower than the first, these volume boosts are short and snappy. But if I turn up the attack further on the second to increase the difference between them, the boosts last longer and create more of a thump. On the other hand, if I set the second envelope follower back to the fastest attack time and slow down the first instead, the effect is now reversed and transients are reduced in level instead of boosted. To adjust the level of the effect, I currently have to change both modulation slots by the same amount. So to make this easier, I'm going to add an XY controller and link the Y axis to both slots. I can now drag the cursor vertically to set the modulation depth. We can take this further by clicking the top of the display to split the signal into two different bands. Our modulation is now only affecting the bass frequencies in band 1 and dragging vertically on the XY controller now controls the punchiness of the bass drum. Let's add a high band as well. Link the gain to both followers with the second inverted again. Then modulate these two slots from the X axis of the XY controller. I can now drag right to boost the high frequencies for just the transients, or up to boost the lows. This technique can be used with any of the full creative plugs. Here we see an instance of Twin 2 with the same loop routed to its audio inputs and a pair of envelope followers modulating filter cutoff. And let's feed this into an instance of Timeless 2 with transient modulation of the cross feedback level. That's all I've got time for. Thanks for watching. <laughs>